Hey guys, welcome back to Last Kepler, where this week we are going to be taking this design here and coming up with a landscape idea. Now, I should say that I was scrolling over on Instagram and I was uh, checking some stuff out, some ideas to create something, and I came across this awesome uh, IG account. And so I thought about maybe grabbing one of their designs and just coming up with something more for practice than anything. And I should say that I am using the Affinity Design 2 um, for this design. So it's a little different than what I'm used to. So I wanted to just kind of create this design with the idea that, you know, it really is for me to practice um, what this program can do. And of course, uh, because I am new to it, there's so much I want to do with it. So here's the base of an idea that we want to use. And what could it be if we are, say, wanting to design something with this? Now, I should say that this specific IG profile does all kinds of really interesting architecture renders. Uh, but some of those are a little too crazy, like this one that I'm working with here. Um, you can see that just from a bird's eye view, it looks very interesting. Definitely something that uh, might not be seen often but that's the beauty of this thing imagining what it can be so one of the things i want to do with this is that what i would do if i were to just you know create a design uh, nothing too crazy um add something to this uh say landscape and uh make it just work so one of the things i want to do with this one is uh, create something that wasn't uh super crazy um, I imagine that if you were to, say, build something like this kind of home, you would definitely want to make sure that the house itself is more visible than the actual landscape as opposed to, you know, adding, you know, fire pits and, you know, all kinds of crazy stuff. You would want to go more minimal just because you are going to want to enjoy the house uh, a way more. So what I want to do is going to be more of a prairie style of landscape here, which means that it would not necessarily add a lot of shrubbery to the um, outside of the house, maybe uh, trees, uh, maybe some rock, um, that type of thing, and definitely a lot of uh, native grass of the area. I'm imagining that this area is going to be somewhere in, say, I don't know, North Carolina, South Carolina, something like that, where it has lots of grass that can grow naturally. Something where you're not spending a ton of money on that part, but you are going to need to maintain it overall. Now, one of the things that I personally like to do is that around the house, the perimeter, I like to put some kind of a rock, decorative rock, just to kind of have it there. Mainly so if there's rain, um, all the water kind of moves away from that foundation. I myself don't like it when water stays next to the foundation. Um, just never been one of those guys that enjoys it. I'm sure nobody really does. But at the same time, not many people think about it when they're doing their landscape. A lot of people tend to just put grass right next to the foundation. And sometimes they don't even do a good job job at grading um, soil next to the house which allows for water to stand really close and over time create problems for the structure overall so i would think uh, at least in this case maybe around the house put a perimeter of somewhere between two and five feet of rock just to kind of you know kind of make a nice look from bird's eye view where you know you have the rock but it's not too much not overwhelming um even in the middle so the way this uh, at least this render is is that um it has this interesting sort of diamond like star in the middle so i thought well maybe you could put some more rock i don't want to put a lot of shrubbery in there and the only reason why i'm saying this is because if this were to be a real thing you would definitely want to know where water would go away maybe like a, a water future in the middle something like a bubbling boulder that would be nice with maybe like some chairs around it maybe even a fire pit um definitely no wind maybe even a tree that would grow very upright um something like that i would consider but at the same time i would definitely want to know that there is water um somehow there is water um can exit this area 
um, if there is some type of uh, tubing piping that can get all the water away from this area um, you are going to have rain naturally anywhere you live so if you were to do something like this you would definitely want to have water move away so now um, you are seeing how I'm just kind of starting to put the area for native grass I should say that I was working with this and I couldn't figure out because again um, I've used other cat programs and cat programs are a little different than this one right here so I was going in and out just to literally trying all kinds of tools I'm like will this work will this work will this work so I uh, end up figuring out that um, in fact it would work and I didn't have to do all this in fact the first of well, the second line that I used I was able to delete one of them and then from there just put more nods and then from those nods I can adjust where I want this to be so all that green area that represents the native grass now depending again where this area would be I would grab a grass that would grow really well and also make a good amount of um, native uh, local flowers that would be able to grow super nice in the area all kinds of uh, flowers out there that you can use uh, to make the landscape even better uh, maybe just around the house the perimeter maybe um, every I would say I don't know uh, maybe a couple weeks month or two I would be able to mow it just to kind of have a clean look around the house but kind of the rest leave it very native with a lot of um, flowers growing so um, just to keep you on the loop this triangles around the house that represents the rock you can honestly use whatever you want um, but in this case I just want to use something a little different they're pink i don't think you should put pink rocks but it really is just to kind of show you like the difference between what would be the native grass and what would be say the rock at the same time i'm using the circles um that i put around the house uh, for areas where you could put some trees now again keep in mind that this would be like an area where it's going to have a lot of water may have something like a maple maybe like an oak maybe something different something that would grow somewhere between 80 and 120 feet um, tall maybe 80 to uh, 100 feet wide again all kinds of different trees out there I didn't really have any specific ideas to which tree should be there but definitely areas for trees so I kind of wanted to have like a little bit of that clean look maybe around it I should say though depending on the area um, if this area has happens to have a lot of water and you were to put say wood mulch or maybe even rock by itself there's a chance that over time um, some of this native, this native grass will grow into the area so kind of keep that in mind if you're thinking of doing it it's a little easier I would say <clears throat> if you were to clean it around the house um, if it were to be a couple feet kind of what I was mentioning earlier so you can kind of see where how I have right here some of those ideas for my trees like all right will this work over here I'm kind of just giving myself ideas as to what it would go there um, if it would fit there um, and what I would use so I'm like eh, maybe not this one let me try a different one out here so I kind of delete this one and kind of put this other one just to like uh, put it in the area so I think it works well and again I'm just kind of putting ideas of as to what it would look like keep it in mind that if this house were to be built I imagine that it would be built in an area where it would have somewhere between two to maybe five acres where it would be ideal for an architecture style of this kind something very different from the rest where you definitely don't want it to butt right next to another house just to kind of make the structure itself just pop even more but I would imagine that they would want to have trees so I kind of made this area where it's going to be the garage and maybe even entrance of the house again keeping in mind that this house is very different from the rest it would definitely have different things to work with so I kind of added you know a few shrubs nothing too crazy in fact I think overall the design I was like hmm, maybe like three in this area and three in the other area so roughly around six or so shrubs that I put um, just because I don't want to put a lot of stuff um, you'll see kind of how I'm just placing it in right now where I think it would work um, really well of course if you were to do something like this um, it again is just to kind of give yourself like you know just different ideas 
will this work for this thing and again you are doing your own thing um this is just for purposes of an example for training um yourself um there's nothing wrong with you just grabbing some of your own time and and seeing what it would work maybe a different style uh, maybe even the rock might not be necessary but again i just uh think that when you are thinking of doing a design you want it to be usable um, especially if this is going to be maybe potential uh, ideas that would work if you're just doing for the sake of just creating something that may not ever be a real thing then yeah put trees in the middle uh, put trees where uh, most likely are going to da damage the foundation or the house sure do whatever you want so now over here i put some texture and some trees um i kind of remove here the grid that's where you go and i was like all right so this is what it will look like so it's uh one of ten uh landscape design or plan in this case and this is kind of how it will look like so you have some texture some trees um some other shrubs there um and just things that i think will look great so again this is for purposes of example what do you guys think um let me know if you guys are working on your own landscape or maybe even training just to get better let me know in the comments uh, let me know what you guys are using for your current uh, design your your software I like to know a bit more about what you are working on um, in the comments below you can definitely do so and again don't forget the model over here which is dream design create and I will talk to you guys later take care of yourselves bye bye